This week I made loads of progress on my game, from adding programmer art so it didn't look completely awful, to adding in a system to handle dialogue, doors and items, and so much more. Last week we added in a new world for the player to explore, so now we need to fill it out and give it some gameplay. But first, this week started off pretty slow. I had my final exams on Monday and Tuesday, so all I could really do was fiddle around with how objects were arranged in the world and fixed up how doors work, so that they would actually take you to where you need to be outside of another door as opposed to in the middle of nowhere. Wednesday is where the gaming really began. I wanted to make a camera system that matched 2D Metroidvania type games. It's pretty common for the worlds in these games to be sectioned off into rooms and to have the cameras stuck to the bounds of these rooms. Currently, it just sticks to the player. I thought I was going to have to make an entire system and move the camera using programming and math, but Godot actually has an entire built-in system for setting the bounds of a 2D camera. And so now the camera actually looks good and isn't just a part of the player like a little bone sticking out. There was one more thing left on my to-do list today though, and that was to make interactable objects work, whether that be doors, other people you can talk to, or items. This was going to lay the groundwork for a bunch of systems we implement in the future, so the code had to be good. It was all mainly based on a tutorial to get the dialogue system to work, but I saw I could apply it to literally everything, so I did. It's just got a variable you set based on what it does, and when the player interacts with it, it'll run an action. Taking this, I applied it to all the doors and talking people and was done for the day, and went in got some Whoa, wait, is this a dream? What's that? Whoa, that's crazy. I, I wonder what this dream is trying to tell me. Thursday was super busy, so I knew I wouldn't be getting much done. So I set two small goals for myself. Get some simple art for the cliffs down, so they don't blend together so much, and make a sky. I really have not done too much game art in the past, so I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I stole a palette from online and just got drawing some rocks. I made sure it was tileable and chucked it in the game. It does kind of look like Minecraft though, so it's definitely getting replaced. And then the sky, well, that's just simple, right? It's just a repeating texture that kept scrolling. That's just like, that's just like Flappy Bird. That's just, it's just like a basic, super basic mechanic at the end when it wouldn't take me like two hours to work out how to get it to move correctly or scroll properly and link the textures together, right? No, no, <laughs> no, right? So I chucked the art and sky into my game and it looks so much better now, but now I have to go to my real job. Friday held more big gaming moves. Although the actionable system from Wednesday set the groundwork for items, I still needed to make some. And the first item our player is going to need is a key to get into the wizard's tower. So I set up an inventory that's stored in the game manager so that's consistent across all scenes. And we've got a key. And because the dialogue system and the door system and the item system are all connected, we can just check if the game manager's inventory has the key to a building. And if it does, it'll transport the player inside a building. If not, it'll just tell you it's locked. But maybe it'll give you a little hint where you can find the key. If you're lucky. And now we basically have all the elements for storytelling for our game. But we're not just making an adventure game, so there's so much more to get done. The rest of the day I spent making the UI white, which took way longer than it should have because I just didn't understand how Godot theme system works. And I still don't, but it's white now. And I once again went to my real job. And I was going to work on the game when I got back, but instead I just went <laughs> Saturday and Sunday I really had no time to work on the game. I had some more dialogue and polished up our first little journey of getting the key. The key definitely still needs to be moved and I need to chuck in the little apprentice guys, but that was my week of working on my game. I'm hoping next week I can spend more time on it and add in the forest. Let me know if you have any more ideas for the game, I'd love to hear them and until next week. See ya. Also, if you if you want to see more development sooner than next week, follow me on Twitter. I post uh, updates there.